Hello, and welcome to this edition of Quick Toots. Today, I'm going to teach you how to set grommets. Grommets are little metal pieces that protect the edges of holes in garments, especially for lacing. They work great in corsets, dresses, purses, bags, you name it. The difference between a grommet and an eyelet is an eyelet is one piece. I don't like eyelets as much because they're not as strong because a grommet is two pieces. It's this little hat piece and the little flat piece. The tools you will need for this job are your grommets, your grommet setter, which is a little anvil and the top, your hammer, your hole punch, which could be either kind, and a pencil or a similar object that you can enlarge your holes with. I have also used knitting needles, but I like the pencil because it's really the exact right size for this size grommet. Grommets do come in multiple sizes. The size that I'm using is a size zero. A uh, double zero is smaller and then they get larger from there to the really big ones that you might see in your curtains. So the first and actually most important part in doing your grommets is getting the holes correctly when you start. There are a couple of different kinds of hole punches. There's this kind that you squeeze and punch. I'm not as fond of this one because you have to have pretty strong hand muscles in order to get it through your leather all the way. And if you use fabric, this doesn't work very well at all. I like this sort, which is a post and you hammer it in. This I find works a lot better for more people. You don't need to have the hand strength to do this one. The other thing that you need to know about doing grommets is you want the hole of your hole punch to be smaller than the hole in your grommet. Because if you make your hole too large, what happens is, is that the grommet just plain old falls out. And believe me, that is not a good day. So this one is actually significantly smaller. And then I force the leather over it. And I'll show you some tricks on how I make that happen. So this is my wooden post that I hammer into. You don't want to hammer into anything that doesn't have some give to it. If you hammer into an anvil with one of these, you'll destroy this in two seconds. This is actually a sharp hole punch. And if you dull it, then you don't punch any more holes. So I've marked my holes. I want them approximately an inch apart. A lot of patterns will tell you an inch and a half to two inches apart. I ignore those completely and I do them an inch apart. It looks so much more professional and it fits you better when you're done. All right, so. Take my hole punch, put it on my spot, hammer it through. Now I'm going all the way into the wood on this. So I've got my hole punched, but my hole is like super small compared to this. So what I want to do rather than cut my hole bigger is I want to stretch my hole this all sounds really wrong. Anyway, <laughs> I want to stretch my hole out. So I take a pencil. And I push my pencil through. And this temporarily stretches it out. I get it sort of loose. And then I've got a big enough hole that my hat shaped piece just pops right in. Then I take my anvil I carefully put this over the anvil like so and then my hammer which is in my lap hammer it down really well, and voila, perfect grommets. And it's in there good and snug and it's not going to come out. So notice that I'm putting the hat piece 
on the outside of my corset and the flat piece goes on the inside. If you make a mistake and do it backwards, it's not the end of the world, but it's definitely something you want to try to avoid. When the top of your uh, stump gets all worn out, all you really need to do is, is saw it off and then you can continue to use it until you have nothing left. <laughs> Looks like I need to saw this one off again. Done with all of my grommets on both sides of the back of my corset and I am ready to try it on and make the adjustments that I need to make before I finish it up. Thanks for watching this quick toot on setting grommets. If you want any more information, write it in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. And always subscribe.